So when you hear Beyblade Burst, what's the first Beyblade you think of? Maybe it's Luminous for its extreme attack power and constantly heavy weight. Maybe it's Friggin for its line of extremely versatile Beyblades. Maybe it's Fafner for being known to have amazing spin steel. And maybe it's Kirbyus, because we haven't gotten one since like Rise and that thing wasn't even canon. But for most people, that Beyblade is probably Valkyrie, and it's the first protagonist Beyblade, so it makes it the first protagonist Beyblade to burst, I mean. So I decided, you know what? I'm gonna make a Lego Valkyrie, and that's exactly what I did. Here is my custom Lego Valkyrie. This is Mystic Valkyrie 8 Exceed. Um, so yeah, this is a right-spinning attack type, like all Valkyries. It has a six-bladed shape, and it's probably one of the best um, Lego Beyblades I've made, like, accuracy-wise and performance-wise. Yeah, probably too. So let's get on. We're checking this thing out. First up, we have this part, which is called the core. This is the Valkyrie core. I was going for a design that was a lot like the um, Ultimate Valkyrie uh, chip or core or whatever. Oh, I'm going all the way back to, like, Victory Valkyrie with that side view. And I guess single-layer Valkyrie, but, yeah, it's pretty accurate. Um, as accurate as Lego can get you, at least. You have the eye, like the tattoo mark, got this red center, which is, like, the god chip on Genesis or God Valkyrie. You got, like, the... The hair? The wing on top? I don't know what that is. Honestly, it, it, it could be whatever you want it to be. And it's made from this humongous gear, and then there's a smaller gear at the bottom and an axle pin. This is basically how the entire thing connects together, and we'll be showing that off later. So next we have this part. This is called the ring. This is the mystic ring, and it's made into a hexagon shape because I wanted the layer to have the normal swords and then these smaller wings that are on other Valkyries. And I'd say I do a pretty good job. As you can see, there's so much tape on this thing. But that's just because it breaks a lot. Like, these um, clips, they're the ratchet clips, which make them sturdier. But they still break a little bit too often. And this thing, as you could probably already tell, has rubber contact points, kind of like Ultimate Valkyrie. This entire thing is like a dollar store uh, Ultimate Valkyrie, to be honest. Um, but it also has metal infused in the layer because the disc was really light, which I... Said it was 8, but we'll get to that later. And the reason why I use this is, well, A, for extra weight, and um, B, these 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 things need, like, something to hold on to, and I guess this thing worked. That was a horrible reason. Just know that I need some extra weight. God, I make that way too more complicated than it needed to be. I'm not going to redo that part because I'm lazy. And um, it conveniently gets held in by these rubber bands, so... Yep, didn't need to, like, tape it or staple it on or whatever the heck I needed to do. So... To put that together, you could probably already figure it out. This gear right here has those, like, spikes on it, right? And these studs slip into the notches on the gear, and then you have your layer. And this is the Mystic Valkyrie layer, so pretty good layer. Next, we have the disc, which is 8. This is the RC version of 8. This thing's, like, pretty um average. It's really only good for the RC Beyblades, of course. And um, it's actually the heaviest one out of the RC disc, so yeah, that's nice. And finally, we have the... Of course, the driver, but for this system, it's called the base, just because of how big it is. It's Exceed. It doesn't have the rubber tip like Exceed. It's more like the Hasbro version, but it's still very fast, although it doesn't have the greatest stamina. So to assemble this thing, you take the disc, you kind of rest it onto here, onto these bars, and there's a 2x2 two two circle point inside of there. And then you simply attach the axle into the hole, like... That, so there is the Beyblade all put together, Mystic Valkyrie. So let's get to the test battles. All right, so we are, of course, at the stadium. So let's start with a test launch. Okay, so very fast, as you can see, with that Exceed tip. So yeah, let's get this battle started. So we're going to start off with Cthulhu. Honestly, this guy's pretty underwhelming. Like, it's extremely light, and it's just not that great. So yeah, as you can see... Doesn't have the greatest stamina, but its attack is through the roof. Oh my god! It won with a really bad launch as well. Okay, so that's pretty promising. Now, even though it's an axle, it still can burst because I felt it kind of detached a little bit. Like, oh, holy macaroni! That was that was a pretty big hit. So yeah, this guy is already pretty good at bursted Cthulhu. So yeah, um, let's do. Ooh, let's do Barbarian next. Um, 
Or no, I, it's Mushroom. I keep on forgetting I renamed it to its prototype name for each one. Honestly, um... <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, this might be the best attack type. Like, it's just so good. Like, it has good outwards uh, weight distribution. Um, giving it a little bit more stamina, which it desperately needs. Yeah, this thing is just... God, get destroyed. All right, we're done with Barbarian. He bursted twice. <laughs> oh, brother. This is a fantastic sign. Um, Who should we go up against next? Let's do Hydra. Let's see. Oh, that huge hit. And oh my gosh. Hydra completely wiped out. Man, that's really surprising because Hydra is a fairly stable bay. Like... Oh my god, I, I can't launch. I'm just, I'm too tense. This is too insane. Um, but yeah, it's like not the heaviest, but I'd say it's still pretty good. Let's see. And it's dead. Dude, this thing has crazy attack power. It's that rubber. Yeah, it's totally that rubber. Um, let's go... Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm still trying to do this all in one take. I, I feel like I have to remind you every single time. But um, let's do the spin steel um, person. I would say spin steel god, but honestly... Not the greatest of spin steel, but yeah, we got Anubis. Knocked around. Holy. I feel like if this were in the turn system, which, yes, in case you don't know, that's what my system is called. I feel like if it was in the turn system, it probably would have bursted by now. Or maybe not. Maybe it would just be so good. Like, that layer, super good. Okay, let's do it one more time. They both have rubber, so that's nice. Oh my goodness. This thing is just so good. Crazy. <laughs> this thing is out of control. I gotta make like a Beyblade that can counter this thing, but for now, let's do uh, Exo. Come on, you can't be my channel, babe. I kind of weak launched um, Valkyrie, so. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it has good life after death with that driver, too. This is like. Bruh. <laughs> it's like the Lego equivalent to Brave. Um, I want to do one more battle against Exo after this. You know what? It's it's not worth my time. This video is probably already like ten minutes long. I don't want that to happen. Honestly, I do. I do want it. I do want it to be ten minutes long, but I don't want it to be like crazy long. So, Taurus. What? It, not Taurus. Like out of the stadium. Not out of the stadium, but pretty darn like hard. I'm just grabbing my zero disc because I want to use um the new bay. What did I call it? Oh, yeah, get destroyed. Oh, yeah, Infernal Astro. A pretty solid Beyblade. It lost to, um, the Defense God. But that's, like, you know, tight matchups. And it's extremely round. It makes sense. And it's also pretty heavy. But it did get a good hit uh, at the beginning on Taurus. So that's nice. Come on. Try it. Holy. Holy moly. And it lost. Oh, I think that... Was that a tie? Um... That might have been a tie. I think I'll do it one more time. I think that's the Beyblade Gods telling me to stop. So we're going to stop. And we're going to use Infernal Astro instead. Yeah, I think I named it Best Defense Type. Uh, the title. Yeah, it's like kind of niche. To be honest. Like, it's definitely good. But it, it lost to freaking um, Phantom. So that's sad. Because I think Phantom is the worst defense type. Oh, a tie. Phantom might be one of the worst defense types that I've made. Like, it's just too... It's too recoily because of those plates. So, yeah. Um, like, the only good thing from that guy is the chip. Which is probably the heaviest right spin he has right now. Oh, shoot. Humongous hit. Oh, you know what? Valkyrie can spin steal because they're opposite spin directions. All right, so that was Valkyrie's point. Let's do one more battle. Let's see who's going to win. Hopefully Valkyrie wins because I want him to look good. You know, I kind of just want to battle it like this. So let's do that. I, I just came up with this, by the way. <laughs> like, if Zero Banshee wins, I'm going to be so angry. Come on. That's Metal Contact, dude. Call this an exhibition match. Wait, wait, is Zero gonna beat Valkyrie? No, there's no way. 
No way. No way. No way. It lost to a disc. I mean, to be fair, it was metal contact, so... Makes sense. Alright, yeah, for real this time, let's do one more battle. Yeah, I'm not tightening the base, um, before... Oh! Humongous hit. Scrape Nation, and Valkyrie 1. Okay, there we go, that's more like it. So yeah, that is, um... Mystic Valkyrie. Overall, this thing is crazy. It beat almost every Beyblade. Sure, it, like, kind of lost to Taurus, but, uh, that's totally fine. Also, I just want to give a quick shout-out to, um, Diamond Diego and call it Valkyrie with an O. So, yeah, if you enjoyed that video, comment, like, subscribe, do whatever you want. No offense to Diego, and I'll see you in the next video.